Carey handicap chase up next here at Ascot. Two miles, one furlong for horses rated up to 140. You've got Jason X. I'll be going off top weights for my stable. Argira, Darren Thompson, the Grey Teller, Ryan Costello, Green Wizard, Craig Beckwith, Ignatieff, Kalanisi, James Shea, Papillon, Poutine, Alex Cherry, Central House, John Morgan, Merchants Hill, Graham Clutterbuck, Seeking Orange, for D. French, Fiorentes, Diamond, Paul Rhodes, Monster Dominator, Jim Murray, Duchess, Lancelot, Paul Rhodes, Palace Pie, Ryan Costello, Cash Cow, Graham Clutterbuck, Little Dean Guidance, your favourite for James Shea, and Jemimaville Camera is the last runner. Alex Cherry, I think that one, apologies. Uh, the race card just dropped off before I could see the, the trainer of Jemimaville Camera, but it's Little Dean Guidance who's one of the shorter price favourites just before the off for James Shea, racing alongside Ignatieff Kalanisi as they go over the first. I think there was a mistake by one horse towards the rear of the field, didn't get over it particularly well. Might have been Duchess Lancelot, uh, I think it was, uh, but just jumped out of camera angle uh, just as they went over that fence. So coming past the stands, and what will be the winning post in the circuit's time after a couple of really good feature races here at Ascot. We had the Yamlin uh, chase to finish day one. With the that was the first race here, Ascot, and then we've had the Ascot hurdle previously. And you can see the pack stands. A lot of race goers here soaking up the action. We've got a few more races here uh, at Ascot for you uh, before we move on to racing overseas. So it's a Little Dean Guidance that has the lead still from Ignatieff Kalanisi. Papillon Poutine and Jason X in third and fourth, about five to six lengths off the leaders as they start that tight right-handed bend there and start racing along the back straight. So it's a little Dean Guidance that has that leaders edged on slightly from Ignatieff Kalanisi as they go over the next. Jason X, a really good jump, uh, jumped way past Papillon Poutine who got a bit too high and uh, wasn't great over that one and that allowed Monster Dominator to move up the other black horse for Jim Murray uh, up on the outside of that one. Oh, and Papillon Poutine's gone at this one. So it followed up a, a, a mistake with a, an even worse one really and the jockey had no chance of staying on board as they come to the next open ditch all over that safely slightly slow jump by seeking orange at the rear of the field that's trying to follow up on last week's win for Daniel French so they come to the next and Jason X another from my stable that's forgotten how to jump and decides to, to try and just plow its way through the fence to get to the other side so it's little Dean Guidance still has a couple of lengths lead over Ignatieff Kalanisi as they start swinging right-handed into the final seven furlongs monster dominators in third and traveling strongly for Jim Murray the gray tellers there for Ryan Costello looking to follow up on its promising run in the first week of the season but is disappointed in its last couple of runs but it's making some eye-catching progress there but didn't get us over that as well as Fiorentis Diamond for Paul Rhodes and Central Houses looking good for John Morgan as well Jason X is gone uh, Jemimaville camera is gone as well so those horses decided not to jump and just uh, chuck the jockey off as they got over the other side so come to four and a half furlongs out it's a little Dean Guidance that has the lead the grey teller was about to lay down a challenge but made a bad mistake and Palace Pie for that stable is staying on better on the outside for Ryan Costello Fiorentis Diamond Monster Dominator there Central House for John Morgan is still making some pretty good progress in about third place but with three furlongs to go little Dean Guidance is still the one that they've all got to get to and has the lead of a few lengths over Fiorentis Diamond as they come to the next gets over it well Fiorentis Diamond a good jump for Paul Rose is going after that one central house and monster dominator are trying to stay on as well two furlongs to go little dean guidance is starting to get weary out front and fiorentis diamond is about to join it and central house and monster dominator are coming as well for jo jim murray and john morgan and john morgan's horse central house is the one that puts the best jump in and now passes fiorentis diamond in the final furlong fiorentis diamond is trying to battle back against central house the gray on the on the outside is holding it off and staying on really well staying on gamely pulls off all challenges Central House wins it for John Morgan the grey and those light blue silks he's got a good stable John Morgan he's starting to get a lot of winners notched up on the board and this is a good win here in the Carey Handicap chase here at Ascot Central House wins at a big price for anyone who fancied that. Fiorentis Diamond went off the joint favourite in the end with Little Dean Guidance and ran a big race in second for Paul Rhodes. Monster Dominator for Jim Murray in third. Little Dean Guidance fourth for James Shea and Cash Cow fifth for Graham Clutterbuck.